43 down, one to go, to go to decide who will be the Steinlager USA Sevens Champions of 2007. And will it be a fourth different winner of an IRB title in the last four tournaments? Or will Samoa make it two in a row? We shall see. The excitement builds to an appropriate climax. And Brian, it's a matchup of a week ago. That was a battle royal. I think we can see another South Sea Island battle in the offing. Well, now both teams have been peaking to get here into this final, and it's going to be an unbelievable battle. There you see the, the Fiji lineup. Here are Fiji. Well, watch out above all things. I just wonder if he's been keeping his powder dry. Number 10, William Ryder, has the beating of anyone. He can beat three men in the space of a telephone kiosk. Here are Samoa, all physical, masterminded by Uali Mai, the IRB Sevens Player of the Year, and Mikhaili Pesamino, the man who's been running in the tries. But watch for full frontal confrontation. It may not be pretty, but it'll be thrilling as the South Pacific divides into two camps. And I know that everyone there will be glued to a television set, the national sport of these two island countries. And it will be under the command of an upcoming referee from New Zealand, Matt Stanish. Ten minutes each way in the final, remember. So it's a long haul. Fitness, skills, the lucky breaks, the confrontations, the white jerseys of Fiji. And immediately away via a number, one of the new numbers in the Fijian squad. And quite an impact he's made. So too, this man here, Vuthango. He's again just uh, found his feet in IRB sevens. The man mountain, Naevo. And the setup, all about possession, lying over the top. And the temptation, of course, is to go to ground. ground is out. Oh, it certainly is. And, you know, Samoa, these two semis, the quarterfinal and semifinal, they've been up in the opposition's faces. They haven't allowed a point on day two. And they're doing that same thing against Fiji right now. They're getting right in them. That's how you got to beat them. But this is a very dangerous Fiji side. Sure is. Ryder trying a little flip reverse. It didn't quite come off, but it stays in the hands of the captain, Bola Bola. He's a bit isolated, forced into touch. Caught a glimpse there on the bench of the, the legend of sevens, Vaisali Serevi, who's in the squad, but not starting. I think he may have been running a bit short of pup. He's, he's allowed to at age 38. Yeah, he's still out there, though, and he's just a tremendous leader, and they have so much respect for him. And you know how badly he wants to win this championship for Fiji right now. Serevi, and alongside him, Joe Sabo. Terrific coach, assistant, uh, alongside uh, Waisali. Here comes Samoa, in the hands now of Pesamino, but he's been well covered, and the ball is really won back. And this is Vufango. This is Volabola. Volabola. Oh, and up in support. There's Ryder. <laughs> With a flourish. I think this powder is dry, Nigel. Just an explosive run. And what great support and a big, powerful run by the big man. And it sets up Ryder for another try. That's his fifth of the day or fifth of the weekend. Just tremendous talent. Look at all these Fijian fans. I'll tell you what, that went down well. Look at this. It was off the turnover. Pesamino, he's such a danger man. But look at the breakdown. Fiji gets there in numbers so quickly. You see Roko spread it out wide, then Bufango. And there's the big break right here, and off to that man who scores, William Ryder. As you see, Bola Bola, he did all the hard work. Beautiful support play. And this young man has been accused of indiscipline at the time, but there's no doubting the talent of this 24 year old, 5 foot 9 from the little uh, club of Bua. And there you have this season 21 tries, and this man. Such a key figure. Stepping into the boots, really, of Serevi. He says, well, I can do that. Not lacking confidence. Here's Sakao. Sakao. Slow support. Brilliant cover tackle coming in from Bauta Otto. Knock on, says Matt Stanish. And Nigel, these, these top teams are so good at catching the ball in traffic. That was great def uh, Samoan defense, and the Fiji tried to feather that ball in, but uh, a big hit by the Samoans. And we're going to see plenty of big hits in this final, 20 minutes worth. And those watching for the first time, I it hope you'll find some of these up. skills mesmerizing. Coach. It Coach. really is such Ball. a specialist Coach. game that excites. It never fails to excite. <laughs> and here you're seeing two of the greatest exponents of the Eight. art of sevens. 
alongside, of course, the likes of South Africa and New Zealand, England, Argentina on their day. Fitness, of course, a key thing as well. In the seventh circuit right now, it seems like there's six or eight teams that could win on any given week, and it's a perfect example this year. Three three different tournaments, three different winners, and Fiji again, and they haven't even been on the list. That's true. Couldn't happen in many sports. Hands away! Seven away! And ever more reason the more I see for this to be an Olympic sport as well. Here's Uali Mai, player of the year. Got great vision, good hands, popped up. Vaira uh, Fayunga on from Trevor Annas, old campaigner, good support again. They work hard, and here's Uali Mai, just eludes the tackle of Vola Vola. And it's that key influence again. Pops up in the right place time and again. Little Uali Mai, 28-year-old, like all the rest of the players, based playing his rugby in summer, and under the post he goes. And Uali Mai, he usually has a hand in most of these Samoan tries. There's Pesamino. Doing a, that was actually uh, Trevor Rhinos doing a lot of the hard work, and then, again, set up perfectly for Uali Mai. On the outside, he just has enough gas to get by the covering defender. And it could be the William Ryder Ulale Mai show here in the final. He adds the points to level it at 7 all midway through this first half. Uh, he's a wonderfully mild, gentle man, is uh, Ulale Mai from the Appia Maris Club. And this, his 42nd tournament. And when he's absent, see the difference the head seemed to go down he was missing in Dubai and George and uh, we saw the difference they come back with him they come back and take a title South Africans celebrating an epic plate final and uh, it was a case of Scotland the brave but South Africa slick and that last double blow of the tries to carry them home in a terrific plate final and uh, oh they can celebrate too the team who are up at the top of the tree, the start of this weekend's overall championship. Not going here. You know, it's funny, South Africa, they used to come to these tournaments, and I think they would have been happy third or fourth place. You know, even though they're happy with the plate, they expect to win these tournaments now. They've been in two finals, and uh, again, this Paul True has done a tremendous job with that South African career. He has, and you're absolutely right, because now you have six, six or eight teams coming, expecting and determined to be in this situation, in the final. It used to be a sort of a closed shop, and uh, yeah. it was Fiji, New Zealand for many, many years, yeah, essentially. Terrific. Not released quickly enough. Taken away by Fufango. Ryder going on the loop, the dummy with Naivo. Of course, they've got big Davo in reserve, should they need another big man. But no. Naivo runs out of steam. Stolen, offside. but offside was Ualimai. Offside. Good refereeing here in this tournament. Well, most of the things about it have been good. I wouldn't want to tackle this man. Oh, brilliantly done. And streaking away is Rocco. Well, they can come from anywhere. They have so many weapons in their armory. They use their big men so effectively. That's what's so dominant about this Fiji team. They can stay in the tackle. The hands are free. And it's just amazing. Then you got these speedsters that come on from everywhere. Look at Naiva, the biggest guy out here, the biggest guy in the tournament. Tremendous play. Took on two Samoan defenders. That just left everything wide open on the outside. Well, Fiji was smarting last week. They lost 17-14 in the cup final in Wellington, New Zealand. They were determined to turn this one over. They now lead 14-7. But with two and a three quarter minutes still to go of this first half and then 10 minutes to follow that go Fiji go well they are at the moment but wait for the riposte up goes Trevor Annis but it's Fiji possession crucially away by number to Thakao bit isolated eventually Rocco to the rescue Vola Vola they really are uh, in your face. That's how Samoa upset Fiji last week. They took them on up front and physically. But Vuthango it is. Away with Rocco. Number. Again, powered to take two defenders out. Too slow. Advantage. Advantage. Not rolling away. This is Vuthango wide. Ryder. 
As they say in South Africa, clock and fly. Done and dusted. He is a special player. The second coming of Zereme. Unbelievable. I felt he had something left in the cupboard. He's been a little silent. I mean, a quiet signing, even though he's been leading the tournament with 38 points. It's been a, a quiet 38 points, just four tries coming into this. It's acceleration off the mark. <laughs> so many similarities to Sereve. That takes him up to joint top tournament try scorer. I'm racking my brain to think alongside whom. Is it Pesamino or Pesimino. is it Howard Noble? Pesamino has six. Coming into this one. 54 points in total. There we are. Yeah, this Pesamino, Ryder, Vola Vola. <laughs> Some talent in that list, my word. It's 21-7. That's a big gap opening. But a long way to go still in the first half, remember. It's Fiji. Extra edge at the moment. Five, he's five. And there's the influence of Naivo. Spoiling Samoa's clean possession and winning a penalty to boot. Got to be on your feet. Quickly taken with Thakao. Number. Ten. Not back ten. Samoa on the rack at the moment. Oh, hold on, hold on. There's Matt Stanley. He wants a clear ten meters. <laughs> Shouting at Mika Senyo. Stay here. Emosi Vasango, full international at 15s as well, this newcomer, Naivo, three men drawn in. Oh, this bulldozing forward, plays his 15s in Japan, but uh, originally Nandi, no sweat. Etonia Nalibu, number, right on the hooter for 26-7. Unbelievable display, and you hit it right on the head. The influence that Naivo has on the lineouts, on the kickoffs, on the restarts, in open play at Brooklyn Mall time. I mean, the guy has just been a big, big influence, and that just opened things up for his teammates. We saw Namba, all he had to do was cater in because of all the influence in the play. AC Naivo, he did all the dirty work already laying there. But watch the little pickup right here. Beautiful. Ruthanga, just a little stab up to Namba. And Fiji is running away with the show. And so at halftime, after 10 minutes, it's Fiji 26, Samoa 7. And how can you deny the influence of that man there, Naevo? Meli Sakawa Naevo. It's been a tremendous half for Fiji. You know, last year, remember in the semifinal, when New Zealand took so much steam out of it. And, but they looks so fresh for this final right here. I don't think it's going to matter. They got 10 more minutes left there. You see Sereve. You know, it'd be great if New Zealand's or Fiji's got a big lead and Sereve comes in for a little bit of a curtain call in that second half. That would be special. It would indeed. Absolutely. The one thing I don't want to see is him playing on the way down. Right. He's still fit, fast, yeah. clever, vision. And, 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 and he's picking his spots. It was Fiji right from the beginning, though. The ball goes out wide. The influence here. Bola Bola sends it out wide to William Ryder for his first of two. But then the other star on this on this field, Wale Mai, he gets it out wide. Has the gas, has the burners. And he saunters in. It looked like it was going to be a close game at that point. Tied on one try apiece, but then Fiji took over and Naeva. Little Fan gets into space, takes out another defender, and off goes Masoni Roko for Fiji's second try again in between the poles and they weren't quite through as William Ryder has his second again just teasing the defense in the corner speed and brilliance and then at the breakdown a little pop up by Fufango to Namba four tries for Fiji in a dominant display I tell you what I've always thought you've got to be a bit special to have the uh, audacity to wear white boots I think in Ryder's case we can excuse him it's just a joy to watch. Now, now you said if you're new to rugby, you'll be amazed at some of the skills out here. I've been around rugby for plenty of years, and I'm still amazed when I see some of this new talent that always seems to crop up on the seven series. It does, and it's shown in its full glory because there's no hiding place in the sevens game. And I should think Vaisali Sarevi and Joseph Savu there are well pleased. 
10 minutes to play then Fiji in command 19 points ahead in this Steinlager USA sevens final have some uh, some answer oh lovely play beautifully done by Michaele Senio has he the pace to beat Ryder probably not on the outside but Ryder can if he has a weakness it might be in his defense where he's not big and powerful but he can cover fast here he is one two in flipped in from number he's impressed in his first two tournaments <laughs> there'll be a nonchalance about it in the end here comes Ryder across there you are off great tap tackle let's be fair tremendous work from far to our auto but on they come long ride by Ryder into the hands of the most change of tactic oh Ali Mai is the only one back oh dear I like him no not uh, not not tall I thought that was knocked on Maybe I read it wrong. Pesamino and big hits there. Nebu just powers him with that 17 stone. Good break. Trevor Annas. Does certainly not to concede anything. Some are at this stage and they're mounting a comeback here. Oh, Ali Mai. No, I didn't want to be on the end of that one from Flacao. So do Ali Mai was. Pressure again, knock on though. Samoa ball. Difference here, I think, with last week, Brian, is that, that Samoa have not been able to close down Fiji. They've given, uh, they've had no, more space this time. Or they've used it. A sign of a good team is to learn from what happened in the week prior, and that's uh, exactly what Fiji did. Look at the big hit. Uh, back up. I'm, I'm wincing up here, and I'm 100 yards <laughs> away. Ah, well, he's back on his feet. Hang on. And it looks like, you know, we thought about, I thought maybe Fiji might be a little tired in this final, but it's it's the other way around. And guess who's coming on now? It's good to see. Wearing that number six jersey is Vaisali Sarebi. And he's a man who, of course, helps keep things cool when the pressure's at its greatest. Not the quickest man anymore, but still a clever player, a visionary. Pause, engage! And a legend. Those of you who are watching him for the first time, relish it. There won't be many more days, I guess, perhaps after this season. Oh, Alimai. Nicely played. He's got to offload somewhere soon. Takes the defender out. Here comes Samar on the way back. Spread wide by uh, Senyo. Oh, Alimai trying to control operations midfield. Oh, solid up top. Bounces one man. On they go with Kineti Topilao. Still in Samoan possession, they desperately need a score to make an impact here. on the Fijian lead. Here we go with uh, Merfu, spread wide by Otto. Yosua! Timoteo Yosua, the new find in Samoan colours. This youngster, still a teenager. Could this be the turning of the tide? A wonderful try, great great constant pressure by Samoa on the Fiji line. They just kept attacking and attacking. Finally got the ball out wide. He scored two tries in the semifinal. Look at the long pass out here. And then just a little step back inside on Rocco. Nice try, this guy does have some great skills and just a youngster. Absolutely, and uh, maybe Samoa's answer to William Ryder. It's 26-12, it's 26 still, 26-12. Kick just off target for Moali Mai. Uh, it's some classic sevens rugby you're enjoying with us here in San Diego. And Nigel, can I just say it's it's wonderful to have international rugby back in San Diego. The last international rugby we've had here in 1980 when the All Blacks played the U.S. Eagles at Jack Murphy Stadium. And uh, what's that, 26 years ago, 27 years ago, we finally get some international rugby back. And everybody here love the venue, love the weekend, and uh, can't wait for next year. Here, here. Box, it's Rocco. Little chip and chase. It's all on that awkward ball. The pickup is good. The try is given. The scorer is Nambulu Anga. Missed the semi final for suspension and discipline, but comes back 
with the one that probably wraps it up now for the Fijians. What tremendous skills. These guys can scoop up balls at their shoe tops up high, and that was such a difficult pickup. Both the uh, Fiji and Samoa overran that, but Nabuli Wanga came right on, full stop. Perfect pickup and try. Here's the kick ahead. Roka with a little chip ahead, and then it's a race for the try line. With Yasua, you see the both the two speedsters going by. Watch the bounce, goes right past him. And look at this scoop up. Unbelievable. Good control. Made sure he had possession and then a beautiful try. And with the conversion, it's 33 to 12. And they that, make it look so easy, Nigel. Yeah. It's like a top player in any sport, I guess. Cricketer who times the ball, probably a pitcher who throws a pitch, I don't know. But we're on that uh, pitch now. Oh, Ali Mai. This intense rivalry, but there'll be nothing, they'll give no quarter. There'll be no relenting. 33 12, they may be down, but uh, in their eyes, they're not out yet. They've got a penalty. Quick to take it is Kaneti Topilau. Now, the check there by Matt Stanish. Topilau again. Oali Mai, under pressure, flips it away. Fatua Otto via Senyo. Can they set up Yosua again? Oali Mai. Slow to offload, danger ball here for Samoa. Ryder, will he be cocky? <laughs> Not for long, but offloads. Offside. Knock on. Oh, offside. Offside, oh, Ryder. Oh, oh, good good call on. by the referee, that. One Fijian knocked it uh, forward, the other one took it. Oh, the knock on must be deliberate. Can it's a try? penalty try, it had to yeah. be. So, another one back for Samoa, 33 to 17, and still three and a half minutes to go. The quick tap over for two more points. It's 33 to 19. Well, it's not impossible yet. It's a, what, 14 point margin to get on terms, and three minutes is a long time in a sevens game, especially a final if you're defending a lead. And especially when you got some explosive weapons like this Samoa team. I mean, they got the, the speed of plenty out there. The great thing about these tournaments is that they leave you wanting more. And in uh, Hong Kong, we'll be saying who is going to win that one. Meanwhile, this yet to be determined in favor of Fiji. 33 to 19, they lead. Ryder, chip and chase. Fight, fight, chip. Trying to play the Man United bit. Didn't come off and... It's Uali Mai to Yosua, the interception. Oh, Ryder pops up all over the place. Oh, and a big handoff by the biggest man. He's going to saunter home. And there is Naevo, the man who set Fiji on their way, wraps it up. He's out for the count. But in the knowledge that he has sealed Fiji's victory with that long, loping run. He could be possibly the unsung hero for this uh, Fiji side, which looks to be the champions of this 2007 Steinlager USA Championship. William Ryder just pops up, and then Naivo with his trunks falling down. <laughs> Even has time to pull up the trunks. Multi, multi skilled, uh, but he is just a wonderful player. What an athlete! Extraordinary. Hails from Nandi. One of the big, uh, biggest of the towns in the Fijian Islands. The kick is wide. I don't think it matters at this stage. We're down to one minute 25 to play. And Fiji have scored twice the points of Samoa in this final. And remember, it was Samoa who beat them last week in the cup final in New Zealand, 17-14. Somehow, I think a lot of us sense it might happen. Although, of course, we felt that Fiji had had a much harder run to this final. Extra time earlier on against South Africa. Back there is... Back and back. Is Ryder. The loss of a couple players for a couple of games. Yes, I mean, indeed. All these, there's, a, there's only about uh, 10 guys playing all these games. That's true. And, uh, a nice tussle against New Zealand in the semis. Yes. These guys have come here on a mission now. 
four tournaments uh, without them as a champion. That's a disgrace down there. Oh, they've accept nothing but triumph. You're right, they're on a mission. And I think they've Crouch, fulfilled touch, it. Pause. Samar looking for the last word, though, the consolation score Crouch, at the end of touch, another epic pause, display engage. of Out quality way. sevens rugby. Wally Mai offloads to Jerry Merfu. But Fiji have contained them well here, and they've turned that one over. Sarevi spins it away, but there's a little uh, knock on. Blue scrum. Just the last second, they'll probably play this scrummage, but Fiji know they've got it in the bag. It's all done and dusted. And credit to Samar, of course, but let's applaud the magic again of the magicians of Fiji. Beautifully done. Offloaded by Oali Mai. There's the consolation try for Jerry Meafu to make the scoreboard look a little closer. But this is Fiji's day. And these players, respectful of each other, will be there to fight another day late in March when the IRB World Series moves on to Hong Kong and then to Adelaide in Australia. Lovely to see, isn't it, this uh, respect and uh, courtesy that each has for the other. The final kick is adrift, but we can salute as the music appropriately from those islands rings around the stadium here. The supporters celebrate. It is Fiji who triumph in a wonderful display and turn the tables on Valiant Samoa.